It's the Midweek Roundup! Folks, it's Johnny here from Mantic Games, and I'm bringing you the very first video version of the Midweek Roundup. For a bit more interesting than scrolling through a blog, I'm going to bring you all the same great content that you guys have been painting over the last week or so, but bringing it to a more modern format, for want of a better way of putting it. And you'll then be able to watch it on YouTube at your leisure, as well as seeing it on the so rest of our socials. So, let's get started. So, first up today, we have William Cuthbertson for his adequate miniatures on Instagram, if you want to go give him a follow. He's been painting his Salamander fleet. You see one of his ships here, absolutely fantastic. Really great job on not just the paintwork, but also the basin as well. Really great to see... Uh, Armada ships when everyone does the, the proper wave uh, basing, you know, using maybe like the Vallejo uh, textures, those sorts of things. Um, or you can use PVA. There's a lot of other, perhaps what you'd say, cheaper alternatives to get similar effects. But I do highly recommend the, uh, the Vallejo uh, water effects. We do stock them on our website. Um, moving over, we then have these fantastic Marauder Commandos. These are by Ollie Ainger of Brutal Deluxe Painting. Again, go give them a follow. These are really, really nice. I mean, they're great models anyway, but it's always great to see a really, really crisp paint job on uh, on our models as well. Absolutely fantastic. Really got that dark, dingy sort of feel to them, but whilst still being really crisp. Uh, fantastic job. We move into some Veermin. I've lined up a couple of photos of uh, these Veermin from Dave Strawbridge, and that's because I think they are absolutely stunning. He's gone for a sort of cyberpunk, um, very sort of neons sort of colour scheme. Um, you'll see in a picture in a little later as well, you see the base is a bit better. He's painted onto the bases rather than, say, using flock or something like that um, to give a really urban cyberpunk gritty feel. I think these are absolutely brilliant. You can see uh, here's another one. The level of detail uh, on the highlighting I think is just absolutely phenomenal. Again here you can see the base a bit better. He's also done some uh, off-source lighting with the, uh, the green here on the jeans down uh, from, from this knife. I think that's absolutely fantastic work. So top, top job David. Moving on, often we can forget about scenery and think of it as secondary, but I actually really enjoy painting and building scenery. I think it's a, a lot of fun um, and really adds to the hobby, and I think it also adds an awful lot to your gaming if you take the time and the effort to really get some really good scenery and paint it up as well as you paint up your miniatures. Um, and Frank Thompson has done exactly that with this um, perhaps sci-fi sushi bar, if you will. He's used the Dead Zone accessories uh, sets that we sell, which give you things like the canopy, all the different neon signage, the, the shelving with the condiments on, as well as loads of other things like uh, recycling bins, all, all the sort of accessories you'd expect to add to a, a sci-fi urban city environment that just help bring a bit more thematic feel to, to the, uh, the buildings rather than just being flat. Um, so I think this is really, really good work and it's great to see people painting the terrain. Some more vermin, some more rats. Um, these are much darker than the previous ones, not, not, as, uh, not as trippy, um, but nevertheless still fantastically painted, really, really crisp, absolutely fantastic job. You can see here just how crisp that detailing is. Um, really, really nice. Same again with the, the dark and dingy like the, the Marauders earlier. Um, personally, my, that's my sort of favourite style of painting, uh, particularly for a sci-fi gritty uh, game like Dead Zone or, or Warpath or, or Firefight. Um, I really like seeing dark and dingy as if they've been, you know, out in a war zone, exactly what you would expect. Um, so this is absolutely fantastic. Then we move into some overdrive. This is Matthew Mills. He's painted the Viking and 
uh, barricade. Particularly like the level of detail on barricade, where he's gone in and painted the sort of LED screen on the shield. You can just about make that out in this image. And really good use of the concept art and the box art imagery to paint up his Viking as well. It's uh, almost spot on to, to exactly how how our studio have had the, those painted as well. So top top job there. This week. Not a huge amount being painted, but that's probably because we're all out gaming because the weather's nice, everyone's getting out and about, and that's fantastic to see. Um, we always do want to see lots and lots more images, so do keep remembering to use the hashtag MyMantic on socials, post them in the Fanatics pages, post them on Instagram. We are on TikTok, we'll see your videos in there as well. There's a few guys that are constantly pumping out fantastic Mantic uh, videos on TikTok. Um, so, yeah. You, you want to be featured, use the hashtag and uh, always look forward to seeing lots, lots more work. Don't forget, guys, that it is Gen Con this weekend and Ronnie and the gang will be over there. Make sure you go say hi, maybe steal his hat. Certainly go and press him and interrogate him for some s secrets on what might be coming out soon. You know what he's like. He's bound to spill the beans. Until then, guys, see you again next week.